Good morning. My name is Jordy, and welcome to World News Weekly. In a daytime raid in Iraq, gunmen wearing the uniforms of the Iraqi National Police kidnapped between 100 and 150 people Tuesday morning. The kidnappers surrounded a four-story building with at least 20 vehicles, taking captive guards, employees, and civilians. The gunmen proceeded to separate the men from the women while they loaded the men into the vehicles and made their escape. The abductions came a day after a suicide bomber wearing an explosives belt blew himself up in a bus northeastern of Baghdad, killing 10 people and wounding 17 others. Out of Jason with more. Thanks, Jordy. Apparently not everyone is laughing at the recent release of the film Borat. Even though the film has topped the box office for the past two weeks, grossing a total of $67.8 million, it has made a great deal of enemies. Two fraternity brothers featured in the film are suing the movie production company for signing the release form intoxicated and under an oath that the movie would only be played in Europe. We will see the outcome in upcoming weeks. In election news, Hillary Clinton is the official winner of the U.S. Senate for New York and Spitzer for governor. Democrats promised Wednesday to lead the country in a new direction after winning control of the House for the first time in 12 years in midterm elections. This has been Jason Seafree for World News Weekly, signing off.